the first time that I saw the nanoscope technology, I was totally enthused about it. It's like a disruptive technology to orthopedic surgery, not just hand and wrist surgery. It allows us to really expand our indications and in what we're doing in a more minimally invasive technique, which ultimately will get our patients back quicker, sooner, and treat them better. You know, one of the problems with modern cameras is that they're, they're large. And so in tight spaces, you worry about cartilage injury. But now we're taking a 12 gauge needle with high definition resolution, getting our ability to see in a 120 degree angle field of view will allow us to get around not only tight spaces but curved spaces and see, for example, intra-articular pathology. You can put it anywhere in the wrist, you can put it in the thumb, you can put it in the MP joints or the DIUJ. One of the, the beauties of the nanoscope is not only helping with our diagnoses, we can make our diagnoses in the office if, for example, we need an MRI scan. Sometimes we can just use it there and then to get our diagnoses. You don't have to be an arthroscopic surgeon. Yes, we'll use it for arthroscopy, but we can do it for other techniques, for example, carpal tunnel, trigger finger, de Quervain's tenosynovitis, even procedures that we've done blind before, for example, needle aprineotomy for Dupuytren's disease, we can use the camera technology, really look at what we're doing and treat patients better and also more efficiently.